Out of the new world order, Bishop Brady Lay, you know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, we actually have Donald Trump. Now, I told y'all yesterday how the House Judiciary Committee is actually launching a widespread investigation into Donald Trump and all of uh, a lot of his like former business partners and biz- and uh, you know clientele from organizations he's been with or that he's worked with. So they're actually looking for an obstruction of justice ca- charge, possibly like and looking into like corruption and other crimes, because the man got criminal written all over him, this motherfucker. And at the end of the day, um, it, it, it seems like there's a lot of evidence, but they're looking into like his kids. Um, they want uh, these people to turn over documents. We're talking about his kids. We're talking about, um, the, of course, uh, Weisberg, the chief financial officer. Trump Organization. That's an obvious one. Other so not obvious ones might be like WikiLeaks. If you want to know, you know. But, um, and also uh, Blackwater, which is run by Evan Prince, or more specifically Evan Prince. Um, uh, a deadly mercenary group that was in Iraq during the Bush era. Let's see what happens. We will do the Bishop Grady Lay. I know what the fuck going on. So scholar Jane Mayer actually put this explosive piece in the New Yorker that actually shows how Fox News is the closest we've ever come to having state TV. Now, state TV, state-run te- television, which is something that you see in, co- in uh, socialist and communist countries. So it's ironic that Fox News, uh, that's always trying to uh, talk shit against socialists and, and communists and all of that, would be the culprit. But this is because of, well, one, it was found that uh, Trump put a lot of pressure on uh, Gary Cohen to put pressure on the Justice Department to block uh, acquisition of Time Warner, which owns CNN, by um, AT&T for $85 billion. Same time, they allowed the $71 billion acquisition of Fox by Disney. Second of all, they um, found that uh, Donald Trump was actually slipped in 2015 uh, debate questions, uh, inc- including some really heavy ones, uh, including the one where Megyn Kelly asked him about his misogynist of the Mars. So that's funny. We will do the Bishop Grady Lay. Y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So the Environment Integrity Project and Earth Justice uh, actually had a report that shows that 39 states, now it's only 50 in the United States, 39 states actually have groundwater that's been contaminated by all of these coal fire plants uh, across the country. So this is dangerous because um, it's getting into the groundwater and then therefore um, the arsenic, the lithium, the mercury that um, is found to have contaminated this groundwater, in some cases is is leaking into the drinking water. Hence why you have situations like what happened in North New Jersey or what happened in Flint, Michigan. Well, Flint, Michigan, that's a whole nother atrocity. But basically, um, you know, we can't trust these motherfuckers at the end of the day. And we gotta take control of what we put in our bodies and what we give to our community. So, you know what I mean? Make sure you fix your water, clean water, and graduation. Before the other new world order, Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, uh, the U.S. consulate actually closed in Jerusalem today. Now, this consulate, not to be confused with the embassy, actually served as a diplomatic liaison with the Palestinian territories. So, Palestinians are currently in an uproar about this because they're feeling like they're just being left to maybe accept the conditions that Israel comes up with and, you know, seemingly backed by America. The dealings that used to happen in uh, the consulate are now going to be transferred to the U.S. Embassy. This is controversial because last year, you know, uh, the U.S. Embassy for Israel was originally in Tel Aviv, which we know was Israel, but then moved to Jerusalem while Trump said on an international uh, platform that we're moving it to the capital of Israel. And, uh, you know, a lot of people condemned that, including most of the countries in the United Nations, almost all of them. Um, and uh, it's, it's just looked at now it's going to be oh, everything's going to be under the supervision of U.S. ambassador to Israel, David Friedman, who is known to be a pro-Israeli illegal settlement. So let's we'll see how this pans out. Green War and graduation. What other new world order? Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So actually over in um, Saudi Arabia. So they finally actually indicted the, these uh, female activists that... Uh, they jailed last year. So these women have been in jail for 10 months without any actual, like, charge. But now they're finally going to head to trial. Um, they were protesting in the midst of, you know, just uh, basically protesting against, um, you know, for women's rights. And uh, this is amidst when it's like, you know, not too long before Saudi Arabia finally allowed, uh, got rid of the ban on women driving, which is, you know, sounds crazy and archaic over here, but that's what the fuck was going on out there, and, um, 
you know, even our uh, own Congress has actually called for uh, Saudi Arabia to release these women. You know what I mean? And I don't, we don't have any power to, to, to make them do it, but that's what's going down. So, you know, pray for the women because they say they've been tortured, sexually assaulted, and abused. We want graduation. Uh, the new world door, the Bishop Grady Lay, y'all know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. Do I got some gangster shit for y'all? So y'all know about Jamal Khashoggi, the, uh, the former Washington Post journalist who was actually Saudi Arabia, who was from Saudi Arabia, uh, and was, uh, exiled from there and actually is, um, was actually, um, said to have been murdered in the, uh, Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. Um, he was murdered. They said that Saudi agents had actually went into the consulate um, and essentially uh, with a bone saw chopped his body up and brought him up out of there. Now the, there's a uh, Al Jazeera Arabic documentary out talking about how they were claiming that his body parts were then brought to the uh, Saudi consulate in Istanbul and then burned in this big ass furnace. And then after the fact, they fucking cooked like barbecue beef to cover up the odor. Sick shit, man. Green war and graduation. The other new world order, Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, Walid Fitahi, um, a Saudi Arabian US dual citizen, a, a Harvard trained doctor, has apparently been over in Saudi Arabia, arrested since last year without a charge, it's believed, and, um, was caught up in a crackdown actually at the order of uh, Mohammed bin Salman, who uh, the crown prince over there, who actually ordered the um, crackdown on like hundreds of what are considered to be prominent Saudis. Now, they, the New York Times is reporting that this man has actually been detained and he's been tortured by Saudi officials. Um, electroshock and whip uh, at the motherfucking Ritz Carlton in uh, Raidi, uh, Saudi Arabia. So if you're in Raidi, Saudi Arabia, if I'm even saying that right, if you know what I'm talking about, do not go to the fucking Ritz Carlton. So this dude, Mohammed Ben Salman, we know about him chopping up Jamal Khashoggi, Washington first journalist, uh, last year. You know what I'm saying? Ordering that hit. So motherfuckers not playing. He's gangster. Green War and graduation. The New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay, I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So, on May 14th, they're actually going to have a new election for the 9th Congressional District in North Carolina. Now, this is happening because uh, they've actually found that uh, Republican uh, Mark Harris, well, his team was essentially guilty of voter fraud. Um, there was a Republican operative by the name of uh, Leslie McCray Dallas, who's actually been recently arrested for um, basically trying to rig the election, um, you know, filling in absentee ballots that he wasn't supposed to, you know, doing all types of legal shit, and is uh, facing a uh, possible obstruction of justice and fraud. Um, and uh, actually, Republic, the, the guy who won, uh, Mark Harris, actually is still open to uh, po possibly face charges as well for the situation. He actually said that he won't run again. Um, that would leave, uh, but you know, the, his uh, Democratic opponent, who he narrowly beat, actually said he will damn the previous. So we'll so see how that pans out. Green War and graduation. Another the New World Order, Bishop Grady Lay. I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So over in Dilly, Texas, 15 babies have, were actually released from uh, the de a detention center on Monday. Now, um, this is, at, I'm saying Monday, like it ain't yesterday, but um, at the end of the day, this is 15 kids, um, and they were, uh, the mo their mothers, they were released to their mothers, and their mothers were identified by um, this uh, Dilly Pro Bono project, you know, some grassroots project that was basically trying to link some of these women who were caught, you know, trying to get across the border uh, and, you know, deported or sent back to their home without their kids. They're not even supposed to hold infants. So some of these uh, kids, they were babies there as, as, as young as five months old. Um, all of the mothers declared that their kid was sick in some way, as you could possibly imagine, because we're talking about a detention center run by Core Civic, you know, private prison industry or whatever that needs to get shut the fuck down. Um, is, uh, you know, and they have a history of abuse as well, so this is that function that's going on under the Trump thing. What other New World Order, Bishop Grady Lane, I know what the fuck going on. So there's actually 21 states that are suing the Trump administration over this abortion gag, gag rule that they put in place last month. That basically says that if you're a, 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 an organization that, ref, uh, like a health organization that refers to, that refers women to uh, get abortions, then you won't receive 
any funds under uh, title, what's known as Title X. So Title X actually doesn't just deal with abortions, but it provides funding for like STD prevention, cancer screening, um, and uh, contraception. And it provides, uh, uh, it's said to provide up to like $280 million um, to a uh, worth of uh, health benefits to like about 4 million low income women every year. So, you know, that's the abysmal thing and that's why so many states are, are suing. So it's a big deal. Um, stay tuned with that though. Green or graduation. What other new world daughter Bishop Grady Lane? I know what the fuck going on for this BFM report. So Patricia Okumu, who is actually uh, uh, known to be like a, since we are immigration activists, you can classify it now. Uh, but she's most famous for last year climbing that to the top of the uh, Statue of Liberty in order to uh, protest fit Trump's family se separation policy. Um, she was released, you know, had terms of uh, release and all of that, and has since violated those terms because um, she actually scaled another building in Texas, uh, the South West Key Building, um, or South Key West Building, some shit like that. Uh, some building basically in protesting um, the um, migrants, migrant detention centers. And um, they're saying that she violated her in terms of her her immigration, which I, um, uh, was legal. And they want her to turn in her passport. In the meantime, she's on house arrest with an ankle monitor. Um, you know, God has a way of telling people when they're doing evil. You know what I'm saying? If that ain't it, what the fuck else could it be, man? Stay tuned. Green War graduation. <laughs>